Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video where I help women heal after toxic relationships. My name is Denise Dominguez, and I help strong women coming out of toxic relationships and move them past the fear, the frustration, and the doubt to confidently move them into new and healthy relationships. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get through parent alienation. This is a huge topic um, in divorce. This is a huge topic in divorcing high conflict um, people, narcissistic people, toxic people. And what I want you to know is that I've, this is something that I've applied in my life, what I'm gonna share with you, I've applied this in my life and it's changed everything for me in my life, in my relationship with my children because I have gone through parent alienation. I wanna share this with you and I wanna give you something to help you get through this, okay? So don't forget, smash that like button if you like this video and if it is providing value for you. And I love to hear from you. So please comment in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if this is a topic that resonates with you. I'm super grateful to have you in my world. Okay, so let me start with this. Let me start with the social media post that I posted um, let me finish this, okay, uh, about parent alienation. Uh, I'm fortunate enough, and you do too, we, we all have this ability, but I get these downloads um, to talk about things that are relatable to you, and so this is what came up for me uh, the other, yesterday, was parent alienation, parental alienation, excuse me, and so, Here's what, how the social media post went. It says, parental alienation is real and it starts way before the divorce does. Subtle remarks to your child, how incompetent you are is one way. Verbal slaps across the face about you is another. In some extreme cases, it's much louder and obvious what the abuser is doing. For you, it's pure torture. You love your children. And one of the reasons that you stayed in this relationship for so long was because you wanted to keep your family together. I know this can feel heavy. There is no way out. I know this can feel heavy, like there is no way out. But my love, I can assure you, there is this too shall pass. I know what you were going through. I know how it feels, especially this time of year. It's holiday time, right? Christmas is in just a few days. If you want support around this topic, let me know. And by putting this emoji, and the emoji that I put was the mother holding the child, in the comments below, and I'll dive deep into this healing process um, on YouTube, on a YouTube video. So here I am doing this YouTube video for you on this topic of parent parental alienation. And how this even came up for me was um, I, I'm putting together a new talk. And in this new talk, I, I hope I have a light. I should really be a little more prepared. Um, I was going over this video of this woman who was in a very abusive relationship for a very, very long time. They have three children together. Her oldest is a girl, and then she has two boys. Well, in this video that I saw of this woman was, I think her older, yeah, it was her older son, who was actually the second child born, recording the dad, his dad, just... It's 55 minutes long and it's a horrible video of this man abusing this woman verbally, emotionally. I mean, just breaking her down and then he is physical with her, physically violent. So at the end of the story of this woman 
was 42 years old and um, finally had the courage to leave this abusive relationship. Uh, it, it shares in the story how the, the dad, the husband, brainwashed the oldest child, the daughter, so much so that she has no relationship with her mom, the innocent one, right? The one who was taking the abuse, the one who stayed in the relationship to keep her family together, right? Um, and so that's where this parent alien, parental alienation came up. I've also experienced it myself, and that's how I can really talk about it, is my story of I have two children, my daughter's first and my son was born just a year later. And I didn't know it at the time, but now I do. There were lots of red flags. There was lots of hints that my then husband was kind of brain, not kind of, he was brainwashing our son and brainwashing our son to move over onto his side. Believe me, my side of the story, right? Come over here. Let me get you in my corner, right? So my ex is brilliant at manipulation. And so his tactics weren't so obvious, meaning he didn't really, um, blatantly call me names in front of our children. He didn't say, you're stupid or you're incompetent or you can't do this or, you, or you're or you ugly or you're fat or any of that. He, he rarely, rarely said any of that. What he did do was favor. He favored our son over our daughter. And also, that is another, you know, so when you favor the one child, there's a lot of time spent with that child. And then there's, you know, behind closed doors, who knows what's being said. So far, beyond, far before I left that relationship, um, the parental alienation had, the process had started for years and years and years. And so when it was time for the separation, the actual physical leaving. Um, I moved here to North Carolina from Florida, and one of the tactics that my ex did was he um, he he convinced our son that if you stay with me, I'll buy you a truck. So my son was seventeen; um, he didn't have a vehicle at the time. I'll buy you a truck. I'll buy you. I'm sure he said brand new. I'm sure he hyped it up into this like brand new Ford F-350, Lariat, blah, 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 to um, convince him, brainwash him to stay in Florida and to stay with him, okay? So now for the next three years after I left, there was no contact. My son had no contact with me. He was completely shunned you know, he, he completely alienated himself from my life. So your kids don't have to be young. This doesn't have to be something that happens when your children are young and they're being, being brainwashed by the other parent at a very young age. This is, can also happen at 17, 18, 20s. It can happen at any time. Okay, this is how masterful these manipulators are. They're so, uh, so good at brainwashing, okay? And I talk a lot. So for the next three years, I tried to stay in contact with my son by texting him every week. Um, I love you. I, you know, I'm thinking about you. Have a great weekend. Please be safe. You know, I'm thinking of you. So I made it a pattern that every week, usually on Thursday, towards the end of the week, I would say, I love you. Have a great weekend. Please be safe. Something along those lines, right? And then one day I got a text back. Uh, he had changed his number and I got a text back. Who is this? this you, you're texting the wrong person. So then I didn't have his phone number. So then I really didn't have any contact with him. And then what happened was it came around holiday season and he started to call his sister. And he, um, you know, 
slowly started to come back into our life. And then we had a great, um, I don't know, four years, quite a few years after that, where my son and I were in constant contact and we were on the phone sometimes twice a day. He was calling me, I was texting him, you know, tell me about his girlfriends. I was even um, in contact with his girlfriends and it was just, you know, the best relationship that I could have with my son under the conditions of my son is a carbon copy of his father. So that means that my son is a overt narcissist. It's very, very tough to have a relationship with a child who is a narcissist. But because I know what I know and I do what I do um, and all of the healing that I've done on myself, I'm able to have a relationship with him in that way. Um, and so recently, like a few months ago, we, we were on a conversation and he brought up the past, the past of, if you follow me, you know my story that 2008 was when my ex husband, my then husband had uh, attempted suicide with our 14 year old daughter in the next room. And that led to, you know, a series of events, which ultimately led to me leaving. But that was a very rough time. So in our conversation, he brings up the past. That's what narcissistic people do. They, they, they don't let go of the past. He, he brought up the past and how he thought I should have handled it differently or should have handled it better. And my response was, son, there's nothing I can do about the past. It is what it is. I did do the best that I could under the circumstances of what I was given, meaning I had no job. I had no money. I literally had to cash in their college funds to survive food, gas, bills. Um, I did take them to counseling. I took them to um, I believe she was a therapist. It was in a Christian setting and I did what I, the only things I could possibly know to do. I had no guidance. I had no, um, I, I didn't have anybody guiding me, leading me saying, Hey, Denise, this is what you need to do. Um, I didn't have any of that. So I just did the best I could. So I was saying that to my son, like I did the best I could. Um, and of course that wasn't good enough for him. So I will say this, our phone call ended a lot better than it would have ended before, where before he would have yelled at me, he would have been cursing and he would have hung up on me. And this time I will say this, he was like, okay, well, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I gotta go. Okay, bye. And that was how we ended the conversation. So it's been a few months now that him and I have not touched base. Um, and I, I did text him on Thanksgiving, of course. But here's what I want you to know. Here's the biggest thing I want you to know. Because I've already gone 10 minutes into this. And you're still here. Thank you. Um, don't forget to smash that like button if you like these videos. and also subscribe. It means the world to me. Also comment in the comments below and share your story of parental alienation. Um, your story, believe it or not, helps other people at the very least to know that they're not alone. And also it, it is a healing modality. Okay, so what your energy is, is everything. So during this process, let me go back to my story. During this process, I was very much in fear. Very, very much in fear. Very much feeling lost. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know. I've never been through that before. I was literally feeling very lost, very fearful. I'm going to lose my family. I'm going to lose this. This is going to change us forever. And when you operate from fear, right? A lot of fear, a lot of doubt, a lot of scarcity. 
this is what is in your energy field. This is what's all around you, right? Everything begins and ends with you. Right here, everything begin and begins and ends with you. So when your energy inside of you that you're putting out to the world is fear and doubt and scarcity, then guess what you're going to get back? You're going to get back more of the fear and the doubt and the scarcity. And that's what was happening for me. The second thing that I want you to know is that well, ask yourself, just really go internal and ask yourself, what am I feeling about this situation? Do you hate your ex even more now because he's alienated your child from you? Ask yourself that and be really honest with yourself. Are you so mad at him? This is energy, ladies and gents. This is energy. Do you have harsh feelings towards your child for taking your partner's side? These are questions you need to ask yourself. I, I would love for you to journal these questions and answer them for yourself. Um, your energy is what counts here. Your energy is what counts here. And your energy is what will shift things for you here. And that's where this is going to lead to the uh, healing modality that I want to share with you. When you come from a place of fear and doubt and shame and blame and guilt, this is the lower levels of, of emotions that we carry, okay? Down here at the bottom. When we raise our vibration, our energy, when we raise ourselves up into the higher vibrations of even courage, right? I have the strength, I have the courage to X, Y, and Z, or even love, because that's really where you want to be as love and above, then it shifts everything around you, okay? So now getting back to my story, I've gone through this whole process. I've worked on myself a lot. Not to say there's not a lot more to do, but I worked on myself a lot. And I've come to a place where my ex is my greatest teacher. I am super grateful for the 22 years of narcissistic abuse that I've been through. I don't hate him. I don't wish any harm on him. I'm not mad at my son. I am not mad at for the parent parental alienation because I know now that everything happens for a reason. And I know now that I still love my son and my son knows it. Whether he wants to communicate with me or not, I'm at peace with that. I love my son and I'm at peace with this, this, whatever this is. And that's where you want to be in life, right? You want to be at peace with wherever you are in your life, even going through the hardest times. Holiday times can be really rough when it comes to parental alienation because you just want to be with your kid. You want to hug them and buy them presents and see the joy in their face and cook them their favorite meal or, the, or have the traditions, the holiday traditions that you've always had for them. But the more you hold on to the control of having that outcome, the more clenched and condensed and constricted the energy is. And the more you see how there's no space because there's so much of this once you start to release and let go and open up the space, you'd be amazed at that what can happen. So what I want to share with you is number one, everything begins and ends with you. It is time for you to come to a place where you can feel at peace with whatever is happening. Even if your child is being brainwashed, no matter what age they are, you're not able to be with your son. The most important thing is for you to have that peace inside of you that everything is okay within you. This allows you to live your life, okay? The other thing is, is that being aware of your energy and where you're coming from, it shifts everything and it changes everything. 
And that's really what counts here. And so I want to give gift to you a meditation that I created for you. And it's called Release All Doubt and Fear. And it's going to be in the description below. It's going to be a link. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is put your name and your email address in it. And um, I will share that with you. When you meditate and you, here's the biggest thing I want you to, to really get about meditation. Our minds are always on the on mode, right? We're always on on. I got to figure out what I got to do today. I got to figure out this problem. I got to do this. I got to do that. And it's just like this. When you meditate, and this is what this meditation is going to help you do. I want you to just, just observe your thoughts. Just, just look at your thoughts like you're sitting at the park. You're sitting at the park bench and you're watching, like you're watching the people go by. You're watching the people walk their dogs. You're watching the people roller skate. You're watching the people jog. You're watching the people walk. I want you to visualize those are your thoughts, right? You're just observing your thoughts. You're just observing them. You're just looking at them. Just observing them, okay? Don't beat yourself up that all these thoughts keep coming in. Why am I obsessing over the just, just observe, just observe them, just observe them, okay? And that's what meditation does for you because when you can have that peace and calm within you, it shifts everything. You will see that even with your narcissistic husband or ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband, you will see the energy shift. I've had miracles happen with my clients and myself just by this awareness. When you shift the energy, it changes everything because energy exudes out. Like energy attracts like energy. So when you show up differently, and this is what I teach my clients, when you show up differently, from mother energy to woman energy, right? Raising the vibration, then you're gonna attract, remember like attracts like, you're gonna attract the same type of energy and other people, they're gonna respond differently because you're showing up differently. When it comes to these narcissistic men, they're in child energy. And this is why, because you're showing up in mother energy. Now listen, there's no shame and there's no blame in what I just said. This is not bad. You're not bad. You're not wrong for showing up in mother energy. This is what you've been shown. This is the only way that you've ever known to show up. It's not bad. It just is, right? Once you have this awareness, you can shift this and rise up into woman energy. Once you show up into woman energy, I promise you, even your ex nasty mean husband or ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband will show up differently because like energy attracts like energy. Eight. We're like magnets to each other. Okay. So I hope this meditation helps you. I hope this video helps you. Um, definitely go through anytime, anytime you find some video or some person on YouTube that you absolutely love, grab your pen and paper and write down the notes that you um, I do it all the time. Write down the, the highlights of the video that you really loved and take advantage of the free gift that they give you. All right, my loves. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for listening and investing this time in you. Please, 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 if you like this video, hit smash, punch that like button. And if you want more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. If you want notifications, when I upload a video, which is every day, you can hit the bell icon and that will give you um, notifications on your phone. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. Please put your comments, share your stories with us in the comments below. Your story is just by you sharing helps others. It really does. It helps others see that they're not alone. This is a challenge that they're going through too. It's a support system that we're creating here. Okay. All right. Have a great day.